Hi, I'm Chris Hudson. I play Jack Jackson. Um, he's a pretty normal guy. Likes his footy, likes playing golf, likes meeting up with his mates down the pub. Um, he's got a nice relationship and um, then one day he finds out he has testicular cancer and it kind of turns his life upside down really. It's um, He's quite a happy-go-lucky guy but he doesn't really have a lot in his armory to deal with the situation he finds himself in so it's kind of making it up as he goes along. Anna, guess what I've been doing today? What? No, guess. I'm tired, Jack. I've been doing a bit of scientific research. So the film's not really just about how it affects Jack, it's it's also how it affects his relationships with um, his, his friends and with his partner, Anna. Um, so they all deal with it in different ways and that affects Jack in different ways. Um, uh, one of the friends is very supportive but too much um, and that, Jack gets a bit tired of that after a while. One of them doesn't want to know at all, doesn't want to talk about the subject and that just kind of makes him angry. Um, well I was in a play about 11 years ago with Libby who plays Anna in the film and um, when uh, the company were looking for someone to play Jack she suggested that I might be worth um, a look so they came to Cambridge where I live and um, did the screen test and it went swimmingly so I ended up with a film role that way um, but what made me accept the film was really just reading the script and seeing how easy it was to um, get into the head of Jack and, and you know how likeable a character he is, how easy to relate to who he is and, and the situation he finds himself in. I think probably because Jeff the writer had been through something similar, it just felt very credible and the emotions felt genuine so there wasn't that much work to do to get into the head of someone who finds himself in that situation. Um, there was also just a, a fantastic range of scenes to do in the film, um, not just with the portraying the different relationships but um, having the Jack 2 character as well, um, having to do a few scenes where it was Jack 1 and Jack 2 talking so I was effectively acting against myself. And that was something I've never had to do before. Um, it's not something you ever get the chance to do on stage, but on film you can. But it was um, a really interesting and, and challenging uh, kind of scene to do. Favourite scenes to shoot, I think, would be the scenes we shot in the pub in London. Um, they were kind of a number of reasons really, partly that it was my first um, first day on set. Um, there was also a kind of quite fun road trip element to it with um, uh, Matt who plays Howard and uh, Craig who plays Dave. Um, we were all staying in a hotel together and um, there was also the fact that it was just so late at night because we had to film outside the pub's opening hours which was from midnight till about 5am so there is a strange kind of um, concentration slash madness that takes over at three in the morning when you're trying to remember your lines and being so tired and out of your body clock so that that doesn't sound like a lot of fun but it, it really was because you had the real camaraderie of we are going to get through this um, so those will be my favourite scenes to shoot Action You alright? It's just been a long day. You seem a bit... Get your diary out, Dave. Dave? You're not Who's Dave. Dave? <laughs> <laughs> My hardest scene to shoot was probably the argument scene between Anna and Jack. Um, and that was really because it was so intense um, and it takes quite a while to work yourself up to that level of intensity and then to hold it there over multiple shoots, um, you know, multiple takes and different uh, camera positions, it, that was that was really tough. Um, but I think 
the rewards are when when you see that you get that intensity um, on screen. So well, you'll you'll judge for yourselves, but I think at the end we all felt proud of the work that we'd done.